Good afternoon. Uh, this is Joe Baker with Trade Pilot Pro going over the daily recap of today's uh, fun little market and uh, we'll be doing the levels uh, shortly here. Um, this is exactly the chart I actually untouched uh, from last night, uh, last night's video. We, I had said that this area of 1296 would be the upper end that we would expect to hit. Uh, didn't quite get there, did we? Um, and that this lower end of the 7450 uh, should hold, and that this was our range, and our midpoint would be the 8475. Now, what did we do? We got down to the 7450, and that has been support. Again, uh, those of you that do continue to watch these videos on a nightly basis know I've mentioned the 75, 7450, all this, this, this area here uh, has been, okay, a big area, okay, of support going forward. And wow, when it took it out today, it just it liquidated it right down to the 6350 area I think it went to 64 and a quarter so three ticks off that now that has been a very big area okay and as we see all these times that this market has bounced off the 63 area and again today so what happened was they basically took out everyone's stop at this area uh, drained the market um, I would call it kind of a capitulatory action at there I think they took all of about uh, four or five minutes to get from 74 down to 63 um, and I had mentioned in last night's video that we were up around the 65 66 level on the RSI and that was posing a top uh, based on the chart and that's this line here so where do we go from here okay well 75 to the upside 7450 we know is going to be resistance going forward now okay so I'm going to give you the breakout levels but I want you to just trade those with caution because we know that that area is going to be you know, some resistance here again this is the same exact chart I used last night that we just came down and sliced right through so if we take out the 63 area um, it, it could get fairly nasty and if we look at a pattern here um, this is kind of a head and shoulders pattern so this being a high shoulder here this being a head here and this being the shoulder over on this left side here and this being lower than this opposing shoulder this actually sets up a bearish case I don't want to get overly bearish because that was a, obviously a heavy drain but a takeout of the 63 as you see and you actually trigger this head and shoulders so the 6350 really must hold or it will trigger this head and shoulders pattern and it is about a 40 point pattern so you know I would be looking for ultimate target 40 points beneath us at the 63 level which would bring us down to about the 23 level um, and then actually possibly back down to that 12 12 12 area uh, underneath that so I have to be very cautious and very careful in this area there may be some news we don't know Again, I've mentioned before, it's not what we do know, it's what we don't know. And there's obviously with this, with this just basically breaking all areas of resistance today, just so smoothly and cleanly, um, there is something out there we don't know. All right, uh, that being said, let's get over to the intraday levels so that we can actually trade this market correctly. Hold one moment. Okay, here we are. My line in the sand, 1270. Above 1270, I'm looking for higher levels. We do have a breakout and a pivot at 12.72. Again, guys, 12.74.50, 12.75 area, 12.78.50. Target would be 12.82.50. Again, that coincides with the 12.83 that we've been looking at so far. And then we got 12.85.75, 12.88 to the upside in case uh, we get some good news coming in this market. Uh, to the downside, underneath 1270, 1267, not a problem. We've all seen that one. You can actually push that one down to 1266.50 if you like. Uh, that that should be an area. And then underneath that, we've got 1264.50, um, and I'm looking for 1264.50 to 1263 area to hold. Um, I'm looking for a quarter above today's low, and that pivot just to make sure it holds. If it does get underneath it. 
we've got 1261.50 as a breakdown. Now again, I'm going to mention this, 1260.50 is a small pivot. So we could break down and have a little bit of a chop area here. Underneath that, no problem taking out the 1258, not that big of an area. 1254.50, again, not big of an area. Until we get down to the 1250.50 area and actually 1251 area, 1251.50 is a little bit of uh, support. 1250 has always been an area of support. So just be careful trading these markets. We saw what happened when we took out the 75, which was a big level. The 83 was a tough level. We couldn't get over the 90. Uh, 250 to 94 so obviously we backed up but uh, we saw what happened what kind of liquidation hit this market underneath those levels so I I exercise extreme caution uh, put hard stops in please when you execute your orders and um, just uh, trade carefully and uh, trade these numbers again uh, please sign up over at the blog so you can receive these they are being sent out uh, on a continual basis now anyone that does sign up at the the blog they are receiving these every night and uh, please do so so that you can get these and print them thank you so much and i will see you tomorrow